One of these lucky couples could win a dream vacation. Meet Scott and Robin Hensley. He's a production assistant who likes music and camping. She's a personal assistant who enjoys gardening and movies. Meet Aaron and Maggie Crispin. He's a script coordinator who likes hiking, biking, and riding. She's a page who enjoys tennis and water skiing. They're all here to play the wildest shopping game ever. The new shop till you drop. And here's the host of the new shop till you drop, Pat Finn. Thank you. Hello, everybody. Welcome into the studio here on the new Shop to Drop. Hi to my friends at home. Here's an interesting coincidence as we start off the show. As we match up contestants, which teams will play with each other, we actually do this by random. And interestingly enough, we matched up two uh, pretty equal teams. Now, what did you guys find out in the green room? Uh, actually, we were all married on the same day. Really? <laughs> to each other. No. Yeah. <laughs> uh, same day. Wait, it gets better than this, right? We were also and married in Las Vegas. Both, both married in Vegas. Las Vegas. Not the same chapel, though. No. So, yeah, no. So, well, anyway. You two won the toss. You get to go first. Ready? Right. Please come with me. Stand right here and listen very carefully because if you want to at this point in the game, you have the right to pass if you want to. Now, Scott, I don't know if you realize this, but some of our female contestants, well, they complain that they never get to go anywhere. Well, after this game, Robin, you won't be able to say that any longer because we're about to send you on a shopping trip around the world. Right. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so where, D? <laughs> Tell us where, D. To Japan. Yes. Wow. Germany. <laughs> China. United States. France, Switzerland, <laughs> and United Kingdom. Very good. I was impressed with that. Um, by the way, as you do this, you'll be sending her around the world on our special shop around the world wheel right here that's going to turn around as she sits on this. Now, first of all, as you're doing this, what you're going to be doing is you'll be seeing on our table over there products from various countries that you're going to. Let me tell you about which products are over there. First of all, we have the Wedgwood teacup. Next to that, the Sony clock radio. The Krupp's Cappuccino Maker, the Chanel Perfume, a Wok, a Pocket Knife, and a DeWalt Power Saw. As I say, go, what will happen here is, Scott, you're going to be spinning Robin around here at least one time and scream out stop when you want her to land on a particular nation with that flag, right? Then you'll grab the flag and place it next to the product that comes from that country, and if you can get four out of six right in 60 seconds, you'll win. If you play. What do you think, pass or play? We're going to pass. You're going to pass? Okay, yeah. head over there. This is yours, Maggie and Aaron. Maggie, I'll ask you to get into position right here. As you do this, let me show you how this works. This is weighted, so when you're on that end of the arrow, it moves like this. Now move your weight to the back end. Watch. It'll immediately stop like that. So you have the control to stop just by shifting your weight. Ready? Time on the clock. Move to the forward. Ready, set, and go. Spin it around one time. She's been around once. Stop. Okay, that's on Japan. Put the Japan flag like in. Japan. Sony, Sony, Sony. Come on, Aaron. Okay, she's around at least one. Stop. Okay, she can stop the United States. They can play the big Very quickly, you guys. Gotta be faster. Okay, you get four right in the end. Spin around. Spin around at least one. She can stop any time. Stop. Okay, you're on frame. Grab the flag. Grab the flag. Grab the flag. Grab the Sorry, didn't get to the last two catchers, but you only need to get four right in order to do it, so let's see how well you did. We'll start down here at this end, first of all. Uh, the uh, Wedgwood teacup, you never did quite get to here, and that would have been with uh, the United Kingdom, so we can't give you that one. Here you have the flag for Japan with Sony, and that is right, so you get one there. Next one, the Krupp's coffee maker. You put the U.S. flag there, and Krupp's actually is from Germany, so we can't give you that one. Over here to Chanel number five, the French flag, and indeed that's from France. That would be two. You had the walk here from China. That would be three. Very good. And uh, the pocket knife. I bet you if you landed on Switzerland, you would have thought of Swiss, Swiss par pocket knife, right? Final one here should have been the United States here with the power tool. Back here to center court. We'll get a chance again in a moment. But in the meantime, Robin and Scott, come with me. Just stand right here, and in a moment, I'll put you in a position over there. Now, we want to know a few things about the kind of people you two hang out with.
I'm gonna, <laughs> maybe we don't, I don't know. I'm gonna ask you some questions about your best friends. And if you think the question most applies to Scott's best friend, then you'll hold up a sign that says his. If the question applies to Robin's best friend, you'll hold up a sign that says her. But to get to the points to match, to get to the points, you have to match them, okay? So they'd have to both say the same thing. If you're right, you'll hear this. But if you're wrong, you'll hear this, and then we'll move on. But if you can match five out of the eight questions, you guys will win, okay? All right. Step right over there. Okay, so it's on both sides of that sign. Ready, set, first one. Whose best friend is more likely to go through your mail? Not a match, sorry. Who, whose best friend is more likely to stop by unannounced? That's a match. Whose best friend is more likely to call late at night? That's another match. Whose best friend is more likely to always need a ride somewhere? Another match, okay. Whose best friend is more likely to borrow something and not return it? You got it on that one. Actually, you need just one more for you guys to do this one. Whose best friend is more likely to call at the last minute and cancel plans with you? Yep, that's a match and you did it. Very good. Step right over here. All right, you guys, you earned yourself 100 points and the chance to go shopping in our mall. You shouldn't bring your best friend, Scott, I don't think. <laughs> what I'll tell you is since there is a shopper special up there, you might get a mini vacation. Here's the stores you can pick from. 24 Carats, RCA BMG Music and Video Store, Downtown Designs, Heidi's Housewares, J&B Sports of All Sorts, Andrea's Art Mart, and Chuck's Department Store. What do you think? Heidi's Housewares. Heidi's Housewares. Okay, Heidi's Housewares means that you just won Lance, Dean. Yes, indeed, Pat. A hint of the primitive and rare in Harris Lamps of handwork metal with natural whip accents and richly styled parchment shades from Harris Lamps. Retail value, $375. Very good, you guys. Congratulations, you're in the lead, but Maggie and Aaron will get their chance to catch up when we double the point values for our studs. Right after this, we have some new Dr. Drop. Please stay with us. <laughs> Welcome back, and it's time now for round two. As you know, stunts are now worth 200 points apiece. Maggie and Aaron, you can go first. Come with me. Stand right here. And listen carefully, because you can pass if you want to do that. Now, Aaron, you know that Fabergé eggs are very expensive, right? Yeah. Well, here in our mall, you can get one of our eggs for just $5. And you're going to be using the eggs. Those are the eggs that we have, by the way, on the other side of the wall right there to price different products. Here are the products we're talking about. First of all, the Bodum coffee press that's down at the end of our table there, the Boston Warehouse cream cheese holder, the Chef Mate waffle maker, the Chef Mate hand mixer, and the Metro Cane pepper mill. And as you do this, you, well, we'll tell you how, <laughs> how it works. <laughs> Four years at Juilliard for this patch. <laughs> Money well spent, I might say, Dee. Let me show you how it's going to work. Is, uh, Aaron, I'll hand you a bowl like this with a price on it. Uh, Dee, if you can help us with this here, if you step right over here. You'll take that bowl and you'll be putting it on your head. Maggie, you'll be on the other side of our wall right here, and you'll start to toss eggs over the wall, and Aaron, you'll have to catch as many eggs as you can in that bowl's dollar value to each equal the value, so $5 an egg, so that you'd figure it out. As you do this, you then put it in place next to the product that you think is worth that amount. So for example, if you're over here, Maggie, you'd throw it up in the air like this, you'd yell out $5, D. $5. It, all right, throw it up like that. It lands in there very good, and you'd bring it over next to the product. Worth five dollars. Like this whisk right here is five dollars, so that's how you'd have that. Very good. Now, if you can correctly price three out of the five products in one minute, you'll win. If you decide to play, what do you think? Pass or play? Uh, pass. pass. <laughs> pass that over there. <laughs> Must have been something you said there. D. <laughs> Step right over here, you guys. All right, Robin. We're going to ask you to go and place here on the other side. Ow. Scott is getting the raincoat on. Uh, Although it's not rain that he's worried about here in this particular oh, stunt. Oh, no. <laughs> it's something very different, isn't it? I'll tell you this, Maggie. You're starting off with a $10 cost here. A $10 cost, Robin. All right, if you can get in a position right here. Okay. Time on the clock. Ready, set, and go for the $10. Yeah, one, two, I need, okay, I need one more. Okay. Okay, that's okay, two grand. Very two good. Two good. Where do you think it would go? The next one for you, $15. Okay, $15. One. Okay. Okay. Two. Okay. One more. Okay. Three. Okay. Very good. Fifteen dollars. Put it in place. Where do you think the fifteen dollar one would go? Twenty dollars is next. Okay. Twenty dollars. Send it. If you guys finish in time. Okay. Another one. 
Push it around. That's one. That's two. Three. Oh, one more. Oh, that one. On that one. That one. That's three. One more. Very good. Put it in position quickly. Quickly, quickly. Next one we have for you is $25. $25. Here we go. $25. That's one. Two. Three more. Three. Two more. Four. Okay, one more. Five. Okay, good. Last one. $30. $30. Send it. Okay. Nope. Not. Okay. <laughs> Two. Two. Out of time on that one. <laughs> That's okay. Why don't you set that one over there? You just need three out of five, right, in order to do it. You had fun either way, right? <laughs> you can she get rid. Of, you can get rid of these eggs right now okay. if you want. Yeah, it's, I don't trust you with them. Actually, we'll set those right there. We'll work our way back and see if you can get at least three out of the five correct. Starting off with this one, you put the twenty dollars here next to the coffee press. It's actually worth. $30, so can't give you that one. Yeah. Next, the cream cheese holder, you put the $10, and the cream cheese holder is actually $10. You've right. so got that one. $15 here for this one, the waffle maker, and the actual price of the waffle maker is $25. No. Then you have $25 over here, and this one was worth $20. Yeah. Sorry, you guys. Back to center court. In a moment, you can play again, but in the meantime, we've got Maggie and Aaron to play with us right here. Right here, Maggie and Aaron, let me tell you about this from the work. Now, you know, Aaron, when you pass, you have no idea what you're going to get next, right? <laughs> well, I'll give you a hint. A little earlier, we showed Maggie six different swimsuits, and we asked her to pick out her two favorites. And all you have to do is tell us which two she picked, and the way you're going to do that is by, of course, putting on the swimsuit that you think that she selected. Um, as I say go, you'll run over to the other side of the wall, you put on a swimsuit, run back over here, and say, let's go to the beach, honey. And if you're wrong, she'll say, not in that, and you'll have to try again. But if you're right, she'll say, surf's up, dude. And that means you'd go on to the second one. But if you can find the two swimsuits she selected in a minute, you'll win, okay? All right, we'll put one minute on the clock. You're going to move as quickly as possible. Dee is going to be over there helping you uh, get dressed, if you oh, will. Oh, yes, we have some lovely ensembles back here. <laughs> Ready, set, and go. Take a look at our first one. This one. Oh, that's, that's going to show up your figure very nicely, too, I think. Oh, come on, Erin, hurry up, let's go. Quickly, quickly, you're on the clock. Let's go to the beach, honey. Oh, okay, let's go. Surf's up, dude. Okay, good. That's one. You need one more. You can leave that one out and put the next one out over if you want. That was pretty good. First one, first choice right over. More exotic. Quickly. Quickly, quickly. Come on, Aaron. Let's go to the beach, honey. Not in that. Okay, quickly take that one off and get to another one. Okay, come on, Aaron. Let's go. I'll take that for you. Okay. Less than 20 seconds at this point, so move quickly. 15 seconds. Let's go to the beach, honey. Come on, there. Quickly, get it off and get another one on. Quickly. Come on. Hurry up. Five seconds. Quickly, quickly, get out here. Quickly, 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 quickly. Ooh, let's see which one you were trying to put on. Uh, would that have been it? No, that wasn't it anyway. Sorry. Why don't you just leave that on and come on over here and uh, you'll get a chance to take the swimsuit off in a moment. Sorry, you guys. We're going to do a question and answer round and we can play along too if you like. In fact, we'll do it right after this here on the new Shot Kids Live. So, and. Well, we said at the top of our show that our contestants were relatively easily, uh, evenly matched, easy for me to say, and uh, I guess so, because uh, not great in the stunt round, but we're going to see how well you do with questions here. The team with the most points at the end of this round will go on to shop till they drop, okay? <laughs> Ladies into position, here's a minute 30 seconds on the clock. Good luck to both teams. Firestone, Bridgestone, Stanley Stone, which is not a brand of tires. Yes, Robin. Stanley Stone. Correct. Does Iowa make electronics, shoes, or yogurt? Yes, Aaron. Shoes. No, Scott. Electronics. That's correct. Name the red-framed kid's drawing toy that erases itself. Yes, Robin. Etch a sketch. Correct. What is a Weber Smoky Joe? Yes, Scott. It's a barbecue grill. Correct. How are actors Eric Roberts and Julia Roberts related? Yes, Robin. Brother and sister. Correct. The paint jet, desk jet, and ink jet are all manufactured by what company? Yes, Scott. What is Hewlett Packard? Correct. On which bill would you find a picture of the White House? A five, ten, or twenty dollar bill? Robin in first. A five. No, that's wrong, Maggie. Ten. No, it's a twenty dollar bill. 
Spend, uh, spell Hyundai. Yes. H-Y-U-N-D-I. And, no, that's incorrect. Scott? Uh, H-Y-U-N-D-A-I. That's correct. Who has won more Grammys, Quincy Jones, Stevie Wonder, or Michael Jackson? Yes, Robin. Stevie Wonder. No, Maggie. Quincy Jones. Yes, that's correct. Which American news journal claims to contain all the news that's fit to print? Time Magazine. Yes, Aaron. Wall Street Journal. No, that's wrong. New York Times or National Enquirer? Scott? Uh, New York Times. Correct. Does girls' clothing go up to size 12, 16, or 24? Maggie. 16. Correct. Sports sandals, snack cakes, or sailboats? What does Tiva make? Yes, Aaron. Uh, sandals. Correct. Who is the next in line for the royal crown of Great Britain? Oh. Prince William? Pr yes, Prince William. No, that's wrong. What? Prince Andrew or Prince Charles? Andrew. No, it is Prince Charles, and Robin and Scott, you are going to shout you out. Hey, you guys, it was nice meeting you. Thanks so much for being here. we got a nice party gift for you. And we'll see you guys at the end of the show, all right? Okay. Thank you. Hey, congratulations, you guys, in a moment. They're all friends, you know? Don't get a shot till they drop right after this. Don't go away. You found friends. Time of standing tall. Welcome back, everybody. Congratulations, you guys. Nice job in that last round. So here's your chance for the big trip. You just got to run around, come up with $2,500 worth of stuff, and you'll get a dream vacation. To where, Dean? Now we going to Honolulu. <laughs> the Outrigger Reef on the Beach, a royal outrigger. A deluxe landmark hotel printing, printing one of the finest stretches of Waikiki Beach, located near shopping, restaurants, and entertainment. Outrigger Hotels Hawaii, where value stays in style. Shop till you drop travel and you by American West and Travel Savers, the nation's leading chain of independent travel agencies. Over 2,000 locations nationwide. Travel Savers, 800-726-SAVE. All right, good luck, you guys. That'd be a good one. We're going to put a minute, 30 seconds on the clock. This will be your first box. Ready, set, and go. Robin, open the box. Scott, you take it. It's a royal provincial buffet. <laughs> I just think I was going even. All right, if you come over goodness. here, we'll work our way down and see if we, <laughs> you all right? <laughs> it's not easy, I know. It'll be worth it if you get the trip to Hawaii, though, right? $2,500 is what we have to get to RCA BMG Music and Video Store, and we have some great videos, D. Well, Pat Tower offers a selection of Hollywood-select videos, the glamour of the movies, Hollywood classics That's from the golden it. days of Hollywood. All are available now at Tower Nationwide from Hollywood-select videos. Retail value is $300. Next, we take you to Gifts Galore, our gift store, and you have this gift, D. Berlitz Think and Talk Language Learning Program, based on the approach used by millions. Recommended for anyone who wants to learn a foreign language for business, travel, or personal advancement. Berlitz. Retail value, $330. Now we go to Chuck's Department Store, and you just got yourself a sewing machine, D. <laughs> a lightweight, high-performance sewing machine for everyone who loves to sew. Specially priced, the model 108 from Genome New Home Sewing Machine Company. Retail value on this one is $359. Okay, we're at 15.11 to go. We still have three more boxes here to see if you guys are going to be going to Hawaii. Next, it's Mr. Gadget. And inside, we have a gadget for making labels. A nice one, too, D. Pat Label in Zabriz with the Croy Labeling System. From binders to badges, mailboxes to maps, makes durable, professional-quality labels for home or office from Croy. Retail value, $369.
Good solid numbers here. Let's hope it's enough. Next, it's Heidi's Housewares. And inside, we have Heidi's uh, Cappuccino Maker. Mm -hmm. The Swiss Made Compressor Bar combines a programmable pump espresso machine with a digital drip coffee maker. The ultimate coffee combination a coffee lover's dream from Compresso. Retail value on this one is $450. Whoa, this is your magic number, guys, 692. If what's inside our box from the greenery is worth $692, you guys are going to Hawaii. No matter what happens, you get to keep all the stuff you want on the show here today, including the lamps that you won earlier. So you've done a nice job, but let's find out how nice. Take a look inside of our box, and we come back out with well, it's some patio furniture. Yes, Pat, a patio set, the Bay Breeze series from the Lloyd Room. All-weather perma-wicker patio furniture designed to complement any outdoor setting. Beautiful beauty and comfort from Lloyd Flanders. We need it to be worth $6.92 in order for you guys to go to Hawaii, and it's actually worth $7.66. <laughs> Good job, you guys. I'll take a hug from you, Scott. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. See you next time on the news. Stop being